Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you're all doing fantastic. Happy New Year to you all. Today is December 31st and we are on a special mission. I've been out on a ride for the whole day and yeah, I totally forgot that I need some fireworks for tonight. So I'm on my way to get some fireworks. We have a special mission and in Germany it's l perfectly legal to have your own fireworks for New Year. They are basically selling it starting on December 28th I think and yeah until December 31st. I don't know about you guys but when I was younger I was really excited about fireworks and blowing stuff up and stuff like that. But now that since I'm a little bit older I'm not as excited as I was before about fireworks. I still love it, but I really 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 appreciate a professional firework like the major cities have going on. It's really awesome to see all the fireworks explode in the right order and just to enjoy it but on the other hand it's also much fun to start your own rockets and see them blow up so I'm definitely going to get some rockets I have I think I have enough stuff that just makes noise so I want something visual for the eye so many stores to choose from, where should I go? Where should I go? You know that when you have too many choices, you just can't decide? Really not sure about where I should go. Actually. Oh, she is really cute. The blonde that is driving the car behind me. She is really cute. I don't know if you can just see her. But it looks like she's already married. Of course she's married. All the beautiful women are. Danke. Danke. Passt schon. Okay. Vielen Dank. Ja. Für YouTube. Für YouTube. Wie bitte? Keine Stunts, oder? Nee, nee. Eher so Reisevideos. Ja. Hi.
Vielen Dank. Danke. Gleichfalls. So, I've got my firework. Let's see if it all fits in here with the backpack. There were some friendly people in there. They all told me to cut in front. It's fucking awesome. So, happy new year to you all. So now that I'm prepared for the last day of the year, for the last night of the year, I figured let's do a little year review. I'm super thankful for all the new subscribers I got on my YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you. I know that I have been really bad in the last couple of weeks with replying to your comments and I'm super sorry about it. I had so much, uh, so much stuff going on. Um, as you may know, I'm now a full-time business consultant and I'm staying many nights or every, every night in the week from Monday to Friday in a hotel room and yeah um, many German hotels have shitty Wi-Fi so I can hardly even get my emails I get my emails on my phone but I can't use YouTube and I definitely have to come up with a solution for this problem so that I can reply to your comments and the last couple of weekends I have been so busy visiting friends and family it's been super stressful I know it's a bad excuse but I'm again I'm really really sorry for not replying to you in time so I'm super thankful for all of you who are still watching my videos and taking the time to comment and I'm promising that I'm coming up with a solution for my issues. I'm also super thankful for having found a great job at an awesome company. I'm super thankful for that as well and for making good money. It's like all the work for I have put in the last six years has finally paid off and I'm also super happy that I got my university master's degree which makes me really proud to have it. Furthermore, I'm really, really thankful for having met so many new and awesome people throughout the year. Many great friendships um, that I have made, made? Yeah, that I have made. And especially for one special person, I'm really thankful. And if you're watching this, you know who I'm talking about. So thankful that I have met you. Then I'm thankful for being healthy, that my family and all my friends are healthy, that everyone has made it through the year with no problems. And I'm just super thankful for all of that. As many of you also may have, I also have some goals for next year. Next year I want to travel a little bit more at least more than I did this year and I'm hoping to make many more friends then I want I have set a personal challenge for myself to read 25 books during the next year because in my opinion knowledge is power and you only gain knowledge from books and from working I want them to inspire me to see things maybe slightly different to give me a new view for special events and to be more critical and to think about certain events a little bit more critical that's the number one goal for next year I also want to get a little bit fitter want to lose some more weight already done that during the last couple of months but 
I want to lose a little bit more and I also want to be able to run at least 10 kilometers by the end of next year I know that's that's a realistic goal that I can probably achieve at least it's not totally unrealistic and if I put in a little bit of effort I can definitely make it Oh, I nearly forgot about the most important goal for next year. I want to ride even more than I did this year. This year there had been many days where I couldn't go for a ride due to responsibilities with university or my job. But now that university is gone, I hope at least to go for a ride nearly every weekend. So. I'm super thankful for all of you guys. I hope you have a happy new year and that all your wishes may come true. And I hope to see many of you guys next year again when it's time for another episode of Explore Germany or for another episode of Motor Talks. Until then, have a nice new year with your family, your friends, and promise me one thing. 40 like a rockstar. See you next time. Bye bye. So today I will go to another American car meet which is called American Cars and Burgers. It's held at a local American diner and today we talk about technology. What are my feelings about technology? In general I would say that I like technology. It's amazing how much it helps us to achieve more and more things.